Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at filling a shape with a pattern in Adobe Illustrator. I have a brand new document here. It's 1920 by 1080. Yours can be any size you like. I'm going to create a circle. So I'm choosing the ellipse tool, dragging out a circle right now. My circle has a white fill and a black stroke. I'm going to turn off the stroke and I'm going to target the fill and up here in the swatches panel, which you can also get to by choosing window and then swatches. There are some built-in patterns here that are shipped with Illustrator. You can also find more patterns by going to Swatch Libraries menu and go down here to Patterns. And there are some basic graphics, which are lines and dots and textures. There are some decorative patterns and some nature patterns. Let's go and choose Animal Skins. And I'm going to fill this with something that looks sort of vaguely leopardish. So this is a leopard pattern. Now, it's filled inside the shape. You can't fill the background with a pattern in Adobe Illustrator. It's not possible to go and grab the artboard, for example, and fill it with a pattern. What you would need to do in those circumstances is to create a rectangle that is the size of your artboard and then fill that. So let's just be clear about that. Now, once you've got your shape, you can enlarge or shrink the pattern within it. So I've got my shape selected. I'm going to choose Object, Transform, and then Scale. Here, I want to leave my shape the same size, but I want to transform my pattern. So I've turned off Transform Objects, turned on Transform Patterns. And now I can increase or decrease the scale of the pattern. So let's just make the pattern a whole lot bigger and click OK. Now, similarly, if you like the size of the pattern but don't like the size of the shape, you can select the shape and choose Object, Transform, and then Scale. Now, at this stage, we're going to disable Transform Patterns, and let's also disable Transform Objects, and let's set this back to 100% so that everything looks as it did a minute ago. I'm going to select Transform Objects because I do want to transform the shape of the size of this object, but I don't want to touch the pattern, so I'm going to disable that. And now when I increase the size of the object, you can see that the pattern is staying the same size, but the object is getting bigger. So you can also change both. So you can choose Object, Transform, and then Scale. Let's make the object and the pattern smaller. So let's go to Transform Patterns, Transform Objects, and let's reduce it all to 75%. And so we have a smaller pattern and a smaller shape, a smaller circle. So just click on OK. Now, once you've added a pattern to an object, you can add another pattern. So just to replace it by clicking once on this Jive pattern or whatever pattern you want to add to it. This is brought in and added at the same scale as the pattern that we just had, the Jaguar pattern. If I click on this again, it's scaled back to the scale of the original pattern. So this is 100% scale for the original pattern. So just be aware that if you replace one pattern with another and that other pattern had been enlarged, then your pattern's going to be enlarged as well. But if you click twice, you're going to get it at the correct size. Now, in a similar way to the way that we filled a shape with a pattern, you can also fill text. I have a piece of text here. It's fully editable text, so you can just select over any of these letters and just edit it. That's just regular text inside the document. I'll select over the text with the selection tool, and here is the fill. So I can go to the swatches panel and simply add a pattern fill to my text. And just as I sized my pattern earlier, I can size it here with object transform and then scale. What I'm going to do is not transform the object, but I am going to reduce the size of the pattern so it's a little bit heavier inside the text. And I'll just click OK. And again, if I click on a different pattern, it's going to be scaled at that exact same size. Double click on it or click a second time and it's filled at its typical 100% size. Now, of course, once you've added a pattern to a document, you can recolor it very easily by selecting the shape that is filled with the pattern and click on Recolor Artwork. I'm going to click here on Advanced Options to open up the Advanced Options and then go to Edit. There are two colors in this pattern and at the moment they are moving together, so they're joined together, they're linked, and so they're going to move through the color wheel together. 
But if you want to split them, you can do that. Go to this icon here, just click on it, and now you can bring in two colors into your pattern. You can just drag these around until you find a look to your pattern that you like. When you're done, just click OK. You'll notice up here in the swatches panel that you still have the original pattern, but you'll also have a second pattern with the new color scheme. So there you have the basics of adding a pattern to a shape in Adobe Illustrator. Before we finish, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer, and typically mine is better. I also have Illustrator training at Udemy.com, and there's a referral link for every one of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends, and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.